Good morning! You're too young to remember this, but there was a movie with Robin Williams and it was Good Morning Vietnam! What movie? Good Morning Vietnam. It was actually a really good friggin' movie. So anyway, we have the enclosed in here and we didn't really run this trailer much last year, but we got stuck a lot last year in the rain with the open trailer and it was just a huge pain in the nads. So I had my buddy borrowing this, he was moving, he's had it for the last few weeks. So we went over there this morning cause he just had back surgery. We went over there so that he could, or so we could unload the trailer for him cause he couldn't get it unloaded. So we got it unloaded, we got it in here. Um, there's some other decals I need to put on this thing now, some just random different stuff, but uh, we need to touch up the front here. It needs to be painted, that part of the frame there, um, and other stuff. We're going to run this a lot. Uh, yeah, we need to put the seal back on that back door. We're going to run this a lot this spring, because if we keep getting caught in the rain, I just don't feel like screwing around like we did last year, rushing to get back here and get the trailer backed in the shop with all the mowers. So. We're just going to run this. So what we're going to do, I need a new tire there. That sound of a gun's getting bald. Um, we will in a minute. So what we're going to do, this whole thing is empty now. Um, my buddy Scott, when he borrowed the trailer, he took the green touch racks off. I have two backpack blower racks, the camo version and a regular one, both the V3s. Um, they were on the wall right up here if you guys remember down there i had all the gas can holders uh three five gallon ones and a two and a half gallon and then up here at a four piece trimmer rack so i don't know what i've laying around here i've had i've had some stuff laying around here for a while so what do we got we have another five gallon green touch fuel cage there i think down there on the bottom is a three piece green touch trimmer rack and then we have one of the holders that goes on the wall you can put rakes and stuff in. I think that's about it. So we're gonna need to get two more five gallon ones and one two and a half gallon one. We'll have to get those to put inside this trailer. I think that's all we need. We need some gas can holders. So we need two more two and a half gallon ones, one more, or we need two more five gallon ones and one more two and a half gallon one. That'll make three five gallons one two and a half i know it sounds confusing as hell um and then we have the three piece trimmer rack i'm not putting a four piece back in there um this is i don't even know what's in here oh that's that rack that holds like weed whacker or uh rakes and stuff what's in here i don't even know what we have that is oh that's a that's a green touch rack for holding hedge trimmers yeah and there's a three piece one right there so perfect that'll work we don't need a four piece one in there so we're gonna do that we'll get those in here but before we do that we are going to get the inside of this cleaned out get it swept out vacuumed out and we are going to uh we're gonna paint the whole inside of this trailer uh, i think i'm gonna paint it like a light gray just to make it like appear bigger in here um and then i need to uh, revisit this shelving unit i've had on here for a long time i just always kept oil and stuff like that in it um I think that it's worked perfect forever. It's It's been great. We have a green touch trimmer string rack here, which apparently somebody hit because it's coming off the wall. That's fantastic, um, but we'll fix that, no big deal. I think what I might do is just cut this down and just make two smaller ones front and back right there, or left and right right there and put them there. Um, yeah, I think that's probably what we'll do. We'll put the fuel can racks back here again, backpack blower racks back up there. That worked out great. And the trimmer racks back over here. Um, all that seemed to work out really, really well. Um, I did actually have an idea before when we ran this of putting everything on one wall. So instead of coming in and staying in between both things, everything is on one wall and you just stay to one side for the most part. Well, you're in the middle. It's not that wide of a trailer. This is only a... 14 foot trailer with a two foot v nose um so it's not it's not a big trailer by any means but it always did what we needed to oh i need to refix the wiring for this light here that goes the light switch um because that thing got ripped out at some point um but what we need to do this was this was a big deal and 
I guess we should have left more room back here. But the one thing I needed to do, I need to make sure before Conrad and I can go use this starting in the spring, I need to make sure we can get two standers. Well, it'll be three standers. So our main two mowers, we're gonna run to start the season off. We're gonna have the V-Ride 2, of course, that's a primary mower, and the grandstand now to have the brand new engine in it. So we need to get both of those in here and that 32. That's what needs to be in here on a daily basis. Um, the backup's going to be the V-Ride 1. That'll be the backup to, you know, probably my grandstand. So, um, or some days we might just take the two V-Rides and the 32. So as long as I can get two standers in here and the 32, then it's perfect. It'll do exactly what we need. Um, I don't see any reason why that shouldn't happen because we always put all three of those on the open trailer which is 16 foot and always have plenty of room in the back so um i don't think they're going to go in there straight but we'll take the 32 and put it up in there and turn it sideways toward the front and then we should be able to put two standards behind it so what do you say we give that a whirl try that out and as long as that fits then we can proceed because if that doesn't work then there's no point in even screwing around right here yeah. with the other stuff so we might have to move this place is a freaking mess we need to just hire somebody to come and clean so we can actually do our work mike yeah mike <laughs> mike we need you to clean i've been talking for six minutes who the hell wants to listen to me for six minutes all right let's let's see if we can get these mowers in here Anything. You feel the whole front of it come up? <laughs> that was fantastic. Okay, so now we get the V-Ride 2 in there, and then if need be, the grandstand, we can flip it up. You're going to have to be easy coming in here. It'll work out perfect. Just fine. Smoke in here. And would you look at that? They fit. Yeah. All right. Well, good deal. Those fit in there, no problem. Didn't even have to flip that thing up on the back of the grandstand. Um, and both V rides would fit in there with the 32. So we're good to go. So now we move on to the next phase. And the next phase is um, we're going to. Hold the tire. Conrad already swept this sucker out. So. We'll bring the shop vac in here and we'll just shop vac it out just to get the dust and everything off of it. We'll shop vac out this shelf. I think I'm just gonna leave the shelf the way it is, but I'll clean all the crap out of here because there's all kinds of crap in there. And uh, buddy Dan said that when he borrowed this trailer from me, he left the paperwork in here for the registration and he did not. It is not in here and he uh, now he needs to find it because I desperately need it and it's just not here. What is that? A and D ointment. I thought it was KY. Honestly, what have you guys been doing in this trailer? What are you talking about us? So yeah, there's no uh, registration. He didn't stick it up in here anywhere. It's not here. So um, yeah, that's a problem. I need that. But anyway, uh, so yeah, we're gonna get a shop vac in here, get it vacked out the whole floor unit. We'll get some lights hung in here off extension cords so we can see. And then uh, we will start painting the inside of here. I have to go get some paint but we're gonna paint it like a light gray color. Uh, we're not painting anything on the ceiling, we're just painting the walls. That's all we're painting is the walls. Uh, we'll get it painted up a light gray color. We'll probably repaint the ramp. Uh, the tread tape that I had on here is pretty much shot. So we'll get some new stuff to put it on there. We'll repaint the ramp. And uh, I'm probably gonna take this thing right off. This has been nothing but a pain in the butt the whole time we've had it. And uh, I think most people I know that ha have this on the ramp, they've gotten rid of it anyway and they just it's just a little bump like 
two inches so the mowers ride right up and no problem but uh probably going to get rid of that and just toss it um but yeah so we're gonna paint it and uh and now we will make a final decision on how and where we're rehanging our racks and uh then we will get that done so let's get at it let's get at her so we'll let this guy i'll film some we'll let this guy eat his lunch so we just got finished painting and went and picked up some food painted that Ugh. ramp orange all the walls and everything and then we are painting the floor and the color is pretty good so maybe I'll set the camera up and show you guys what I paint so you know he leaves me up to do all the work around here Today. <laughs> I'm hot. Are you hot, Clarice? I'm hot. It's there's a lot of paint. There's there's things going on here. There's stuff happening here. Can't do it. This is a family channel. You can't vape on a family channel? No. Hey, it's better than smoking the Chiba. So, as I guys told you, we were painting. We painted the floor gray. Needs another coat or three yes. or seven, which we'll get to. But she's she's slowly coming together, and also he painted the oh yeah triangle. painted the whole tongue. It's called a tongue, yeah, Conrad. Yeah, a tongue. It's, it's called a tongue. So I repainted that whole thing because it was looking kind of rough. And this phone today, I can't keep up with this phone. <laughs> we but, should just we should just set up an intercom and just give Veronica the direct link, and she can just talk over top. We can't give her that kind of power. I've known this woman 30 years, okay? 30 years. No, just no, no, no. <laughs> I'll deal with this. <laughs> so, she needs another coat or two. And then, this trailer's done. And then, begin the mowing process with the enclosed trailer so we don't get it rained on this spring. And, yeah. Who knows if there will be any more shenanigans in this video. Ain't that right? <laughs> I, I give up. I give up. <laughs> the only woman I need in my life is my mom and my daughter. I'm done! Throw in the towel! Oh, this guy. I, I can't. Alrighty, well. We can't do <laughs> Why? Why? <laughs> I want. Well, so we can't, can't really do anything else today because the floor is still wet. So this is going to be it for this video. Yeah, maybe. Okay. And we're going to have to finish it up tomorrow. But we got a lot done today. Yeah, we, we did. Go inside down. We still got to reseal the roof because the seam of the roof all the way around has been an issue for, for a couple for a couple of years and it's leaking in the back half. So we have to reseal that, that's no big deal. Um, we can get up there, we can do that. Um, we gotta do the racks inside. We know where we're gonna put them. I got the other ones coming. Um, we uh, we can't put the racks in because the floor's still wet and we gotta walk on the floor obviously to put the racks in. So that's gonna have to wait. And I don't even know if that floor, if we'll be able to walk on tomorrow, it might still be tacky. Now they're calling for two to six inches. What's say Wednesday? Yeah. They're calling for two to six inches on Friday. Tomorrow at three o'clock, I have to be at the orthodontist. Um, but I don't think I told you guys. I spent years dumping thousands of dollars into my kids' teeth, and it's finally my turn. So for all you jerk offs that have said over the years that uh, that hey, you know, you should get your teeth fixed. Guess what? I'm getting them done. I just spent six thousand dollars for Invisalign, and they finally came in. So I get the studs put on my teeth on tomorrow afternoon and then the first tray gets snapped in and I have a different tray every week for the next 52 weeks and then at the end of that when they're all straight they're going to cap the front one that's split and uh, or it's broke off and then uh, I get a full whitening procedure done and then I will have a retainer I have to wear every night for the rest of my life but only nighttime. 
So finally I'm getting mine done and I can't wait. I couldn't be more excited. I'm nervous because I think my whole grill's going to be sore, but, um, but yeah, so we got that going on and, but Conrad and I have our monster sitting over here, the zeros we always drink and I don't think I ever told you guys about this. You always see me drink the monsters, like the cans of monster. Um, but I started drinking this over the summer. I grabbed one in a store and I just thought I would give it a try. This is monster water. It's called monster hydro energy water. This stuff is amazing. There's a bunch of different flavors. This one I love. So I drink this one a lot. It's called blue ice and it's, there's no carbonation to it at all. It just tastes like flavored water and uh, it's not overly sweet. I don't even know. Let's see here. Is there any sugars in this thing? There's zero protein. I'll tell you that there's 29 grams of carbs. Um, yeah, I don't see anything on here about sugar anywhere, but it's got vitamins, vitamin B6, vitamin B3, potassium, um, really good stuff, advanced hydration. So if you guys aren't into the monster energy drinks because they're carbonated and a lot of people don't like carbonation from what I'm hearing, try this stuff. This stuff is amazing. This guy. What? <laughs> well, that's the end of today's video. Yeah, we got, will see you guys tomorrow. Yeah, I got more fires to put out. I gotta, I gotta go for fires. We'll see you guys on the next one.